What's going on guys? Stefan here, s and &E's Garage. Today, we're gonna get our Elantra firing on all four cylinders. All right guys, so just like the title and uh, the intro says, we're gonna be getting this thing firing on all four cylinders here. This is an old school engine. So old school, in fact, that it uses traditional spark plug wires on which are original to the car um, at 174,000 miles, and the car is 2008. So it's, it's like 13, 14 years old. Uh, so we're going to be using NGK Iridium spark plugs. Uh, Iridium spark plugs and NGK spark plugs are original equipment on these cars. And we're also going to be using a set of NGK ignition wires. Um, so the first thing we're going to want to do here is pull the ignition wire uh, cover off with two 10 millimeter bolts. There's going to be one here and one here. All right, guys, I'm going to be using a 10 millimeter socket and an impact, and we are just going to zip these right off. And like you see, I always like to put my bolts in the cowl so they do not get lost. And now we are going to see our four ignition wires and where they go into our ignition coil. So now what I like to do, I'll just grab a pair of pliers here and I'll grab the top of the wires, twist and pull and you'll feel them release and we're just going to do one at a time. Like I said, these are original and they are a little bit brittle. It doesn't matter if we rip them because like I said, they are being replaced. We got our buddy Maverick here with us watching. And we're going to pull all four of these out. So now I'll just kind of set these aside for right now. I like to leave them plugged into the coil. Um, it is marked on the coil which cylinder is what, but I like to replace these one at a time so I know exactly where they go back. That's just, um, I'm a creature of habit. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to grab my 5 8 spark plug socket, and we're going to pull these spark plugs out. Now one thing that you're going to want to do when you're pulling out your spark plugs is you're going to want to look down into the spark plug tubes, and you're going to want to check for oil on top of the plugs. If you have oil on top of the plugs, then there's a very good chance that your spark plug tube seals here are leaking. So we are good. Uh, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pull these plugs out. Alright guys, so we're going to use a ratchet to break these loose by hand. You'll feel them break loose. I always like to do spark plugs on a warm engine. Um, that's just preference. Really doesn't matter either way. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our electric ratchet. And zip these out the rest of the way. And when we pull them out, we're just going to inspect the tip, see how the electrodes wore. You can actually see that these plugs are, are pretty worn. That gap is rather big and you can see just how worn the electrode is. Uh, so this car will definitely benefit from a spark plug change here. You can definitely tell that these are the, you know, these spark plugs have been in here for a while too, just because of the way that they are coming out of the cylinder head. This one's going to need some work. We're going to have to spray some oil in there and work that one back and forth. So what we're going to do on this one is we're going to use some stable fogging oil here, and we're going to spray some fogging oil down into the spark plug tube like that and then we are going to work this spark plug back and forth there's a little bit of carbon buildup on these plugs and I think that's what's keeping them from coming out but we're just going to very carefully work these out so we don't damage the threads in the cylinder head Oh, no. 
So you'll see here, wow, just how, number one, just how bad this spark plug is. And number two, how the fogging oil coated the threads of the spark plug and helped it come out. So let's go ahead and get our last spark plug. Yeah, buddy, that is doing the spark plugs. And this one seems to be coming out okay, so we'll go ahead and switch back to the electric and pull that one out the rest of the way. Look, Dad, look. Yeah. And here's our last one. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our new spark plugs out of the box. That's the dipstick, bud. Alright guys, so we went ahead and unboxed our spark plugs. You'll see, here is one of the new ones. I want you to pay attention to that spark plug gap there, how nice and tight that is. And then we'll just compare that to this one. This one's actually in better shape. If we compare it to the worst one, The difference is absolutely unbelievable. Um, so because we had a little bit of an issue getting these out of the cylinder head, we're again going to use a little bit of our fogging oil here. And we're just going to spray a little bit here just on the threads of the spark plugs um, right before we thread them in. That way they are lubricated going in. So here's number one. Technically this is number four. but. It's the first spark plug we're putting in. So, here's number two. We're going to do the same thing. That's a socket, buddy. All right. Here's number three. Again, a little bit on the threads. I usually don't do this. I usually put spark plugs in dry, but these ones didn't really want to come out. I'd rather err on the side of safety here. Again, we're just putting some of this on the threads. All right, and we're gonna run these all down by hand and torque them to spec. All right, guys, so if I remember correctly, the torque spec on these spark plugs is between uh, 15 and 21 foot-pounds. Uh, so we're going to pick 18, it's right in the middle, and we're going to torque these spark plugs down to 18 foot-pounds. When you're torquing a spark plug, all you're really doing is taking this crush washer here and seating it against the cylinder head to make a nice good seal for the combustion. So that's 18 foot-pounds, we're going to do the same thing here. Eighteen. Is that your truck, bud? Yeah, It's your truck. Yeah, all right. So now all four of our spark plugs are torqued to specification. Now what we are going to go ahead and do is open up our ignition wires and install them. Now these NGK coils actually come numbered for which cylinder they're for, which is really nice. You'll see right here, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna undo this tape, and we're gonna install them into the respective locations. Now if for some reason the wires that you are using are not wired, uh, number one is going to be your longest wire, number two, second longest, number three, third longest, and number four is going to be the shortest because number four is closest to the coils, number one is furthest. That's the way I like to remember. Um, and on the valve cover, there is a little arrow on each cylinder that will show you which way the coil boot wire should be pointing. So you'll see here, there's the, the arrow for number one, here's number two. Here's number three, and number four is underneath this dirt going that way, I, I remember, just because I know. Um, but like I said, just follow the arrows, it's foolproof, you can't mess it up. Alright, so here's number one. Again, we're just going to follow the path here. 
Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to find the number one wire here. And like I said, I like to do these one at a time. So now we're going to go ahead, pull the number one coil out, throw it on the ground or the number one wire. And we are going to put it in place in the coil, like so. Okay. <laughs> Now we're going to take number two wire, and we're going to do the same thing. That's an ignition coil wire. Yeah, Daddy shouldn't have thrown that on the ground, because now you're playing with it. So, here goes number two. I love having my little happy helper in here, helping me. It's nice. And then we're going to run number two here, like so. We're going to find our number two ignition wire here. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to unplug it. That's this one here. So we're going to grab it with the pliers, twist, and pull, like so. You'll see here, there's the number two, if you can see it on there somewhere. There it is. Be careful, buddy. I don't want you to fall down the stairs. Okay. What do you say? Okay, there's okay. number two. What do you say? What do you say? Now we're going to get number three. That's an ignition wire, dude. Uh -huh. It's an ignition wire. Okay, here's number three. Again, we're going to find number three. Pull that wire off. Which one's foot? Here's okay. the number three here. Which one foot? No. Okay. Look. All right, now last but not least, number four. Number four, yeah, it's the last one because it's only a four cylinder. Okay, look. Five. No, there is no number five. It's only a four cylinder. Silly goose. There's five. There's five. There's five. All right, let me pull you off the tripod real quick. Let me show you. Show you what we got here. So here you'll see our nice new wires, and they are routed the way they are supposed to be. And then they go into the coils. All right, guys, so now that we're done with our spark plugs and ignition wires, we're going to go ahead and install our ignition wire cover. And we are going to torque it down. That was the last part of our quote unquote tune up here. We're going to go ahead and change the air filter for good measure. Um, if you saw a couple videos ago, we checked it. Really wasn't that bad, but I'm in here. I have one. I'd be hard pressed not to put it in. Get this out of the way. Take our new one here. Here we have it. Open this up, drop it in, all right, now we are going to check our work. You guys are doing a little bit of a, a lean there. Let's fix that and let's uh, fire it up. All right guys, just like that, you've done a full tune-up on your Hyundai Elantra. Uh, they've been using this engine in the Elantra since 1996. 
It's gone through a couple of revisions, but the ignition system has not been touched. Uh, so this will work from uh, 1996 all the way to a 2010 Elantra. Uh, 2012, if you have an Elantra Touring, this will also apply to Tiburons and some Tucsons. Uh, so if this video helped you get your Hyundai Beta 2.0 or 1.8 liter four cylinder run and right with a fresh tune up, please like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let me know how yours is running. Let me know if you like the video and uh, see you next time.